Hello, and a very warm welcome to the Sussex Daily News Channel. This morning, we give you a piece of breaking news. Revealed Meghan and Harry's stupid reason why Archwell was rejected. Today, it has been reported Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's application to trademark their new charitable organization, Archwell, has been rejected. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who stepped down as working royals earlier this year, had their application turned down because they did not sign the document and they did not pay all the required fees. Documents seen by The Sun have revealed. Being unclear about their objective is telling as is not being able to fill out a form or sign it. I think they're lost and have no real idea about the charitable part of their main objective, which is to extract as much money for themselves as possible. Embarking on a new career usually requires a lot of research. Even grifters do an enormous amount of work to set things up so their cons go smoothly. I don't think these two will have the shiny future they expected. The global economy post-COVID-19 will see to that. Back to this report. The paperwork, which was submitted to the United States Patent and Trademark Office on March 3rd, was also said to be too vague. The couple, whose documents were filed by the Delaware-based law firm Cobblestone Lane LLC, have since been sent an irregularity notice by the patent examiner at the United States Patent and Trademark Office. The examiner was asked to review the application for the nonprofit organization, which the couple had hoped to launch this year on May 26, and has since sent a number of changes that need to be made by their lawyer, Marjorie Witter Norman, by August 22nd. The notice reads, the wording providing a website featuring content relating to philanthropy, monetary giving, volunteer, and career opportunities in International Class 35 is also indefinite and overbroad and must be clarified to specify the nature of the content provided. The examiner added, the application was unsigned, resulting in the application not being properly verified. The cold, hard facts are that they left because Megan thought she could make millions because Hollywood was going to love her. They weren't happy to drop their royal status and only agreed because they had to. Remember, she can use the word royal if she wants to. And all of this was under the pretense of wanting privacy and safety for his wife and child. They both need to be accountable for their actions. Pay your way and stop scrounging off people's goodwill. Following the notice, a non-final action was sent to the couple on June 2nd and their trademark will be held without being active until the necessary amendments are made. The couple will also have to pay additional fees to have their paperwork processed. The latest stumbling block comes just months after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced they look forward to getting started with the foundation, which will replace their Sussex royal brand. As I said, Harry and Meghan left the royal family to have privacy for them and their son, so why would they use their son's name for a charity? That's right. They know they wouldn't raise any money if they called it anything to do with their names or Sussex. Why don't they realize any charity they associate themselves will lose donations as people don't want to help them with their virtue signaling vanity projects? Plus, they weren't allowed to use the name Sussex, much to Meghan Markle's chagrin. She thought she could have all the royal benefits of an English royal family and move to Los Angeles and still have them. It blew her mind when she realized she couldn't usurp Catherine and she got tired of the constant breaks and trips. Not, she thought she could use the name Sussex and get rich in USA. You're welcome to take her back. Poor Archie. Comment on the Sun, Dan Wooten also claims. This shows how incapable they really are. In other words, they made up a name and probably daydreamed together about how rich it will make them. After Harry closed all the doors and burned the bridges, He must realize by now that he is nothing without his title. He actually would still be nothing, but the royal team would have been capable to fill in and sign a form. He added, They are genuine philanthropists, and then they are wannabes, thinking they deserve the title because of their background, which is not that great, to be honest. Their advisors and lawyers aren't worth the money they are being paid. More failures you can count. Not a good advert for prospective customers. Its only charity would have been Megan and Harry. A viewer agrees with him, Danny. You have it exactly right. Harry Markle's article says they purposely didn't provide specific info after repeated requests from their lawyers to purposely delay everything. Just Meghan and Harry want the public to think they're ready to hit the ground running, but are just waiting for Archwell. Sham sight by the sham duo, who never fails to prove that, yes, 
they could sink even lower. Megan once again proves she thinks her ideas are great, so no research or guidance needed. Everyone will just get on board because she's so brilliant. And even if Harry knows better, he's too afraid to tell her. Just Harry grew up in an insulated bubble. He was never told no, and anything he wanted to happen did. Not so much fun in the real world, is it? Especially when Megan counted on getting her way through her marriage to just has. They are like two silly children playing at being grown-ups. One wants to be a princess and has a tantrum and storms off when the big bad world sees through the disguise, and the other is so spoiled by his family that he thinks the world owes him a living. Thank you, USA trademark people, for not giving them an easy ride and allowing them to walk all over you. I do hope they will get their trademark eventually, so they can take back away from using UK names. But in the meantime, this is entertaining. Meanwhile, according to CCN. Meghan Markle is the only one shocked by Hollywood's cold shoulder. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Meghan Markle thought she had it all figured out. Ditch the Canadian chef, snare the prince, walk down the aisle, get the royal title, and convince the easily led Prince Harry to ditch his family and friends and move to Hollywood, where she would be received as a star and bona fide American royalty. It seems so perfect. Fast forward a few months, and the world is an entirely different place. Social unrest and a pandemic have turned the planet upside down. But for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, the world is even more chaotic. You see, the offers for prestigious Hollywood roles haven't materialized. Meghan Markle was under the impression that her big Los Angeles return, with a royal title in front of her name and a British prince on her arm, would be a game changer. Not so much, as it turns out. Shockingly. Hollywood still considers actual talent to be important. An insider claims that Meghan had really expected to have her pick of a movie roles and other exciting offers, but it's been a bit of an uphill battle. Wait, so having a royal title and a prince for her husband isn't enough to land that role in the new Hollywood blockbuster? Who would have thought it? Poor Meghan actually believed that she would be a bona fide A-lister when she touched down Los Angeles, didn't she? The fact that there was no red carpet running from her freebie private jet to the airport building should have been the first warning sign. Not only is there a real apathy towards the Duchess of Difficult from Hollywood, movers and shakers, but it's been suggested that the manner in which Meghan Markle and Prince Harry ditched the Queen and Prince Charles could actually work against her. I know fan girls will find this hard to believe, but the royal family? Yeah, they're somewhat beloved by a lot of people. And Hollywood isn't interested in pissing the masses off by hiring Malibu Meg for a role in a big movie. The insider speaking to Heat World continued, "It seems like some casting directors are afraid of the negativity surrounding her and Harry's decision to quit the royal family." Damn! Now, if that isn't karma, I don't know what is. There's been offers coming in through, right? It's not all doom and gloom for Meghan and Harry, though. Offers have been coming in, and in all honesty, it's not as though Meghan's completely talentless. According to the source, she's received offers to host her own daytime talk show, which she thinks she would be cringeworthy, and she's also been offered guest slots on a few minor dramas, sitcoms, and reality shows. But she really feels that she can only lend her name to prestige projects, like she did when she narrated the Disney documentary Elephants. I appreciate her ambition, but there are levels to the Hollywood game. You need to actually be a good actress to hit that rarefied air reserved for the best of the best. So I don't think it will be much longer before those cringe-worthy offers start to look appealing. Harry and Meghan can only go so long with no income before they run into real problems—the kind of issues that even Prince Charles can't bail them out of. And a fan comment on this report. What has unfolded in the last two years with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle has been one of the most remarkable things I've ever seen. I never even followed the royals until these two. For me, as a 70-year-old woman, this story has huge cultural and political significance. California Los Angeles culture is one of the worst things on the face of the planet, and here comes dumb and naive Meghan Markle, and by golly, she's going to show the royals how backward and out of date they are. She has the audacity to even call her vision modern royalty. People love royalty because it hasn't changed. It gives the British people a sense of hope that England will continue to exist for many future generations. It's just that simple. And you, what do you think about my news? 
Please let me know in the comment section and we'll discuss it together. Remember to like and share my video for anyone you think needs it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more news from the royal family. Now, have a nice day and see you in the next videos. Bye!